The Twitter takeover is on. Billionaire Elon Musk is striking a deal to buy it. Twitter's board unanimously approved Musk's original offer of $54.20 a share. The selling price, $44 billion. KPI X5's Kenny Choi has reaction to this epic sale. We tried talking with employees outside Twitter headquarters, but most are still working remotely. At a company-wide meeting this afternoon, the current CEO reportedly told employees that the future of the platform is uncertain. Yeah, we're canceled. Oliver Hill works in the startup world. He uses social media, including Twitter, and believes positive changes are long overdue and could be on the way. This is like a place where the market's particularly good at figuring out what how things should should behave and and if Musk can take it over with free market principles, sure. Twitter is abuzz with how a billionaire's takeover and privatization of the company will change the way the social media platform is run. Musk tweeted today saying, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. What defines free speech, content moderation, and the consequences of disinformation are at the center of the debate and what Musk will bring to the table. I feel like he's going to stop censoring people and just let people be freely, which can hurt, but can be positive. When people act in bad faith, for some reason, it works out really badly, right? It, people get harmed, harassed attacks, all sorts of stuff. Musk's critics point to how unfettered free speech without any content moderation can incite violence and harm. Yeah, Ian I mean, Schur is editor-at-large at CNET. I want to watch to see whether Elon Musk unknowingly or knowingly opens the floodgates to more bad faith behavior. Oh, Musk neat. wants and even his worst critics to remain on the platform that's saying that's that what free speech free. means. Free. For users like Hill, that's a good thing. I think Musk is incredibly pro-free speech. He has some controversial opinions and I think feels uh, he has like an anti-woke anti, anti -woke bias. In San Francisco, Kenny Choi, KPIX5. Well, there are some reports trickling in from the all-hands meeting at Twitter following the deal. CEO Parag Aragwal reportedly told employees it will be business as usual. He'll stay on as CEO for now, and there will be no layoffs while the deal is finalized, which could take six months. At the White House, Press Secretary Jen Psaki refused to comment directly on the Twitter sale, but did talk about the need for oversight. What I can tell you as a general matter, no matter who owns or runs uh, Twitter, uh, the president has long been concerned about the power of large social media platforms, uh, what they the power they have over our everyday lives, has long argued that tech platforms must be held accountable for the harms they cause. Sale or not, former President Trump says he will not rejoin Twitter. In a statement released to Fox News, Trump said he will instead join his new platform, Truth Social, sometime in the next week. The president or former president was permanently banned from Twitter in 2021. Trading of Twitter's stock was halted briefly for the news, but closed up about five and a half percent this afternoon. For now, it is still a publicly traded company until the acquisition is finalized. The Dow staged a big comeback after word of the deal. It closed up by more than 200 points after a nearly 500 point loss earlier in the day. The Nasdaq gained one percent and the S&P closed up 24 points.